no shadows here. Something must be keeping it at bay. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Who are you? We'll see how charmed you are in a minute. Just keep your hands where I can see them and follow me. Come. Jahira! It seems tales of my clemency have been greatly exaggerated. You have not experienced my hatred, stranger. Not yet, at least. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. protected the Emerald Grove. Yup. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved two of my friends. One from a harpy, and one from a mad druid with a snake. Didn't make a fuss of our thieving either. I'd pretty much trust her with my life. A true soul with a mind of her own? How is that possible? is that thing. Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me. Why have you come here? You're just in time for happy hour. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Blood, this is heavy. Expected a find lurking in this cursed gloom. Jahira seems sure of you. I hope she's right. This barricade might keep the shadows out, but it won't help against what's already inside. If Jahira trusts you, I trust you. But I'll be damned if a bug brain doesn't creep me out. any movement out there. Too dark to tell. Something's on my mind. I bet they're close. Can't chat. I need to reinforce the barricade. The 
looks like that old... It's you. What are the odds? So glad you're all right. Well, as all right as any of us. A makeshift Harper's Fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. I'll be here if you need anything else. and a clean stall. The simple life! Is that so much to ask? Excellent. Never a dull moment. an ox quite the same. Have to keep going. I want to have a word. Gods above and devils below. That, I can see. If you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible.
be here if you need anything else. Ugh. I think I've seen it all. At least it's dead now. Best head inside. There's food and warmth to spare. Don't wander far. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout. Seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one... Gone. And more than half the others with him. We were ambushed out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this ab... They were toying with us. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others... Zevlor had hope, but... Oh, you're all right. Thank goodness. I was worried they got you too. I keep replaying it. Over and over in my head. They lined us up like dogs. Asherak was with the kids. Telling them it was going to be all right. Maybe that's why they picked him. Told him to kneel. He took his eyes first, then his tongue. Roland, of all people, saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. I'm damn glad of it. Without him, well, none of us would be here. Yes, he shielded me and the kids. Well, his brother and sister rushed the cultists. Cal and Leah were dragged away, along with the others. Roland isn't taking it so well. None of us are, to be honest. How do you do it? How do you keep going? Requiem, right? The hero survives a war and rebuilds her life, stronger than ever. A tale worth remembering. Especially now. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful up there, all right? I can't handle anyone else dying. Bargain's right here! Watch yourself out there, please. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. To your very good health. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. Bottoms up. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. As an air about you, something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? You speak frivolously. I do not believe you grasp the cost of what we're dealing with. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? Go 
good. Because I'll cross your heart myself if you break it. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. Believe me, he was well and truly dead. I locked his corpse in the Thorn Mausoleum myself. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. Commanding an army of the Absolute, intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Without a cure to your infection, that lifetime might become rather limited. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. A search burdened by unnatural darkness. But don't let that discourage you. Then speak. The same way hoppers learn of anything. Poke we sent an agent to infiltrate this cult. Until that same agent returned and tried to plant a knife in my neck. From there, I made some inquiries, and so I gathered my harpers and came to the source. <laughs> 